Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday QPR review. If you could like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to donate to the channel, it's much appreciated. There are links in the description to my PayPal, Patreon and Ko-fi. So, we have got QPR who we've both got similar records as it stands and we need to get the win for the point thing to put us on minus five. I got the math wrong. Thank you for the subscriber who uh, corrected me in the preview. But we are on similar runs, so it'll be good to see how we do. And this is the last game before the international break. So this will be very good for us to get three points, have that break, have the players some time off, work on some things, and then go into the next game after the international break. Now remember, the transfer window is still open until the 6th, I think it's 16th of October, domestically, so we can still get deal, deals in. We are still looking at Zahora, apparently, so let's see what happens. The team news today is Dawson, Van Aken, Lees, Shaw, Harris, Delavazio, Longo, Bannon, Reach, Windaf, Patterson. The subs are Wildsmith, Palmer, Ajabayo, Waldock, Pelopusi, Kachunga and Rhodes. Now, there is no Brown and there is no Iortha. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, that's all Iortha gone then. He's going to be leaving us. No, he just picked up a knock. And that is bound to happen with how many uh, games we've played in very short amount of time. So, and it's the same with Izzy Brown as well. Picked up a little bit of a knock. It's sounding like it could be six weeks out. Let's hope it's even shorter. But this is bound to happen with how many games we've had on quick concession and how we've also had a very short pre-season. Finger crossed, ideally, we won't we won't be losing him because he's vital for us at the back. But I think it's just an injury and it's just precaution. Don't want to play him and get even worse an injury. So let's see how we do. Hopefully we can get three points. That will be much needed and that will put us on minor five points for now and let's just see how we get on so finger cross for three points and see how we do so that was a very grappy first half for us we had some chances but nothing clear cut and it was the game where it the rain is causing problem they had the best chance of the game and they just get it from a flick on from a corner and come very close to making it 1-0. We do okay, but the big worry for us is with three minutes in, Liam Shaw goes off injured. Uh, looks like he's done his knee. Looks like he might have just landed on it funny. And it's not what you want. And then you've got when you see the likes of Palmer holding his hamstring. And that hamstrings have been a problem for us as late. So it'll be see what happened there. But so far, no team's really in it, to be fair. Each team has been very, very cautious with how we're playing and how we're getting to the game. We're having chances. We're getting balls into the box. But we are not being able to do anything with them our corners sometimes they're working and but most times they're not our corners are quite bad at times when it comes to getting beaten the first man by bannon and some of the three kicks have not been great today either but he's still getting the ball and we're still running patterson had a great chance it was a lovely volley that went for a corner it just shows you what he can do when he gets the ball this game is very, very, very scrappy and I feel like it's going to be like this for most of the game and unless we go into the second half and we get firework up our backside. So let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get a goal and win this but right now it is 0-0 at half time and the best chance of the game has gone to QPR. Palmer goes off at half time. Ajabayo comes on and that's not good news for us because that means that's another injury in defence with Shaw going off in the first three minutes as well. So you're thinking this isn't good. It doesn't feel like that's something you want to see. And it looks like it's another muscle injury. And we do really well in that second half. Some really good chances for us uh, by Bannon and Longo. Great work by Longo on a 
quick free kick to Bannon and it's a great save by their keeper. And they have another good save thanks to a volley from uh, Windass. We played some really good football and we were knocking on the door and there was something great defending by Van Aken and Lees at the back and just slowly working it. They do come forward, they had the chances and they don't make them pay. Um, and we, we look really good and then... Get us later in the game, was trying to slow the game down a bit and trying to go for that second, and it just doesn't happen. But on the 87th minute, I think it's either 87th minute is when Lee get injured, but before that, we hit the post from a fantastic chance from Longo. Well, I say post, it was crossbar, but it was a fantastic ball in and it should have been 2 0, it really should have. But on the 87th minute, Lee goes down, looks like he's really, really struggling. And at this point, we've already brought on Palapesi for Fizz uh, Del Bacchio. And we used all our substitutions at that point. And if he can just see if he can hold on and play through it. Get to 98th minute, we get five minutes of added time to the game. Uh, Lees can't continue at the 92nd minute and right in the 95th minute they score to make it 1-1. We completely outplayed them today, played some really good football, should have had that game wrapped up, should have got three points there but now we have some serious problems in defence now with the likes of Iorfa's injured, Shaw's injured, Palmer's injured, Lee's injured. I don't know what's going on with Boren. Uh, Bo- Boren, oh, I can't say his name today. And I offer, um, not I offer, Dunkley just coming back from a little niggle he's had. So he hasn't had a proper thing. So we look like we've got a big defensive problem at the back now. And that might change our transfer strategy. Deserved all three points today, but we only get a... Tr- a draw, so that puts us on, I think it's minus seven now. Uh, let's have a look. Let me check. I think it's minus seven, or is it minus... Refresh, let's see what it comes up as. Nothing's refreshed there. That's weird. Um, what were we on? I think we are on minus... Yeah, I think it's about minus seven, minus eight. Uh... Yeah, minus seven, because we're on minus eight, yeah. So, sorry about that, just waffling. So, on minus seven, didn't deserve that at all. Should have got all three points, but it is what it is. We do have an international break now. For us as a team, that looks like it's a good thing. Try and get some of these little niggles fixed and injuries a bit better. And this was always going to happen because... We had a very short pre-season and then a lot of game coming quick and fast. There were always going to be niggles that turn up and it's a shame. But it's 1-1, deserves all three points. If what it is, have a good international break, whatever you end up doing. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video. And I'll see you in the next one.